got a box of regular Crayola crayons. Well, you can draw first with pencil, or you could just color them in directly with crayon. Oh, we haven't done a green one yet. Let's do a green one. Let's outline this with crayon first. Go for a space version again, rather than a land-based version. Really ridgy part. Changing the way the patterns work. Just like I said, you can do whatever you want to. So this will be a new type of pattern. We'll put the hatch thing over here. Okay, so we got some dark green edge. Now we'll stick with the dark green area. One round of colors. If you're watching this live, Laura Sandadella is going to be on today from 12 to 3. Usually she's on from 1 to 3, but because Luke is away today, she's taking the extra hour. So she'll be 12 to 3, doing some great painting as always. And you can find her at her Facebook page, or if you go to the BVAA page, as soon as I stop this feed, I will start up the link to her feed, so you don't need to track her down. But if you do want to track her down, she is both on YouTube and on Facebook, she does the workshops live on Facebook and then she cross posts them to YouTube after that if people want to watch the replay. So her first name is Laura and her last name is Senadella, which is C-E-N-E-D-E-L-L-A. And she is an awesome teacher and instructor. If you want to take some of her personalized classes or if you just want to watch her on YouTube and Facebook, that is fine too. Usually on Saturdays, Luke McNeil does the mornings, and he does all sorts of workshops on Photoshop and other electronic programs. And we do all sorts of other kinds of workshops and such. So take a look, take a look at our bvaa.org website to see what other kinds of shows and events we have coming up. We get funded by the various cultural councils. In this case, the Auburn Cultural Council is helping us do art featuring Auburn, which is a beautiful town. We go to Auburn all the time. It has many beautiful places in it to paint and to celebrate, so take a trip around Auburn and see what they have to offer. So send in your art. We're going to make a virtual slideshow of the different types of art we get for Auburn. There we go. That looks pretty neat. And I 
think in this case we'll do a black background. Well, let's put in a few planets first before we shade everything black. Back of outer space. Oh, I suppose we want flames coming out of the bottom of this record, don't we? So give a try in whatever styles you like, whatever types of art tools you enjoy, a pencil, a pen, watercolor, acrylic, play-doh, crayon, colored pencils, pastels, you name it. It's all up to you. I'll make a few little dot things. Alright. 